Well, the very latest on this for its fallout and implications, we can speak to our correspondent Terence Terashima, who's joining us on the phone line from Tokyo. First of all, this uh, WHO report, some folks are saying it's too conservative, uh, that the chances of potential damage in the form of cancer, both to men and women, uh, their estimate is far too low. Uh, how have folks been responding to this WHO report, first of all? Well, there are uh, mixed uh, reactions uh, here. Uh, the report has raised uh, uh, quite, quite a bit of concerns amongst the residents uh, uh, living in the vicinity and around Fukushima uh, the, uh, and uh, adjacent uh, prefectures. But, however, some of the uh, experts say uh, that the WHO assessment was not based on uh, uh, specific uh, cases and based on, uh, on a, a possible worst scenario. So it may... Uh, it may be worse than uh, it actually is. In reality, there have been evacuations and, and high radiation areas have been uh, restricted and there's been a limited movement of people. So you have to uh, pick a particular uh, case in, in order to uh, get an accurate uh, uh, assessment. And there's, uh, there's nobody has been prolonged uh, exposed to it. And the mayor of Idate village, uh, said, uh, which was a, a part of a comp compulsory evacuation area, said it, um, uh, if it's a very accurate, specific figure according to uh, a, a movement of certain people, then he will accept it. But in reality, people have been evacuated pretty soon and food products out of the area have been restricted and stopped. So the report is uh, fueling worries to people and and may cause rumors. And, uh, and, uh, and, the, uh, and the mayor is asking for a uh, follow-up on this by the government in order to assure people of the actual uh, uh, of figures. And, and Terry, you also have, now have the story about this fish being detected with 500,000 times more radiation uh, uh, than permissible from government limits. Uh, tell us how worrying is this because it once again puts the focus back on the issue of food safety, which was a big concern in the aftermath of the accident that happened a couple of years ago. Is food safety once again squarely back on the table? And what's the government doing about that? Well, the food safety issue has been uh, in debate amongst the Japanese public. And uh, in fact, uh, uh, there's almost a paranoia in some, uh, in some places where they have shops that have uh, radiation uh, detecting devices in order to assure customers uh, that their products uh, are safe. Um, it, it is unclear, as, as you mentioned, uh, whether this, this uh, fish was con when this uh, fish was uh, uh, contaminated. But uh, the Health and Welfare uh, uh, Agency uh, um, uh, has uh, assured that uh, uh, very in various level, governments, district governments, and uh, uh, distributors have been testing radiation levels and and. Uh, 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 prohibited to sell fish that has uh, more uh, than uh, the government limit. So uh, the government is com uh, confident that it's not reaching the mass of people, but they're rather worried about uh, that uh, it will uh, cause a scare and uh, people might uh, not buy uh, products from uh, uh, Fukushima or the uh, or eastern Japan, uh, as it were. So the government is, tr is uh, trying to put out the fire uh, as it were, uh, it, 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 after this finding. It's always the case with food, isn't it? It's always the fear, the scare, which is far more worrying than the actual contamination itself. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. Terence Terashima, our correspondent there in Tokyo, giving us details about this uh, high level and unusual level of radioactive content being found on a fish very close to the Fukushima Daiichi plant in what is seemingly an aftermath of uh, what happened there a couple of years ago, that famous nuclear accident. Meanwhile,